My name is uh, Sean Hoyle. I work with uh, Mohawk College as an instructor in the aviation program. And my uh, educational background, uh, I originally came and graduated from Confederation College in Thunder Bay. And from there, I got into the airline industry working on private aircraft from small aircraft all the way up to large aircraft, the size of 767, and endorsements on top of that with Transport Canada license M1 and M2 category, which involves small and large aircraft. After college, I started working on the small aircraft, 717s, Pipers, uh, Moonies, a bunch of small aircraft. After that, I came to Hamilton from Kitchener and started working on the larger uh, aircraft, such as 727, and then from there, I went to another industry and got into the bigger stuff, 757s, 767s, and spent some time flying uh, VIP charters. Uh, I've always knew I was interested in aviation. From starting from a young child, I always enjoyed working, uh, taking stuff apart as a uh, youngster, and then I took my father to a few air shows uh, for Father's Day, and then I realized that there was something I really wanted to get into. I thought it was really cool to be able to work on that type of aircraft, and it seemed like a really cool toy. Uh, the biggest thing that stands out for Mohawk as uniqueness is the fact that we have the real aircraft that we work on outside, so we're not just learning from books. We can get the real feel of how it is to run aircraft and to be able to troubleshoot uh, with a real airplane instead of just reading or having something just sitting in a, an engine stand. So. I think that's the biggest benefit we have, and it's really been uh, going well, and the students love it. Uh, for here at Mohawk, we have anything from uh, Bell 206s. We also have Piper Cherokees, Piper Seminoles, Piper Warriors, uh, Boeing 727. We have a, a Cheyenne as well. A lot of the aircraft have been donated from companies uh, around the area. Uh, they've been nice enough that either it was about to retire the aircraft, so instead of them uh, tearing it down and scrapping the aircraft, they decided why not just donate to the college so the students can have the, the real experience of hands-on with the real airplane. I think a very uh, strong subject people should stick with in high school, definitely uh, math is a very good thing to uh, stay with uh, in physics and uh, they always recommend taking technical math as well and uh, English uh, because you got to be able to uh, read manuals and there's a lot of mathematical calculations down the road as you get into aviation you realize that it come useful having that kind of background. Uh, so far our success rate's been fairly high. Uh, the college on the side and a lot of professors they look at their past employers and they go back and talk to them and we'll get them in. We've had a very high success rate. I think it's been about 80 percent or higher uh, for job placement once uh, graduating. So it's been going well. We're happy to say that we're taking in a lot and a lot of them are getting jobs from when they're finished. The biggest thing I really enjoy about teaching is the fact that now with uh, all my background and experience I can now give it back to the students and sometimes it makes it funny that sometimes I see the same mistakes that I made back when I was really young and now try to steer them in the right direction. So I, I just really enjoy giving back what I've learned. Having marks to get here is one thing but it takes a lot of work and effort to keep the marks. So a lot of time spent studying and working outside of class hours in order to uh, be able to do well. A lot of studying, a lot of keeping your nose in the books, but if it's what you want, if you have the drive to do it, then you can do it. So make sure that it is what you want to do. The best advice I can give for students interested in aviation, if you have a goal and you feel it on the inside of your heart, don't ever give up and keep going. There'll be times that you think you're gonna get, feel like you want to give up, but it does pay off. You have to work hard, and uh, if you feel it inside, you have to follow your dreams.